talk about Electro-Voice subwoofers and how they chose to implement the crossover. And this is specifically the ELX, EKX, and ETX subwoofers. And why, I don't think, if you've got Evol 50s or any sort of column array, why I don't think they're a good option to augment the bass. Now, I was trying to explain this in the comments section to somebody yesterday, and we were going back and forth from morning till night. And I just don't think I was properly explaining it, so I thought I'd make a video here. And I've got... All right, let's hope I can get some good video here. Okay, so this is the back of an EKX. And right below it, I've got my Yamaha subwoofer. Now you'll notice on the Yamaha, there is this switch here that says through and DSP out. So I can set the crossover on the Yamaha to 100 Hertz. But if I have this switched over to through, these outputs will be unaffected by the built-in crossover in the subwoofer. If I flip this to DSP out, and I set the internal crossover to 100 hertz, these XLR outputs will be affected by the crossover and will only send 100 hertz and above to the top cabinet. Now on the EKX that I have here, you will notice there is no switch. There are just two inputs and two outputs. These outputs are hardwired as a throughput. So when you select 100 hertz on the crossover, the subwoofer itself is crossed over at 100 hertz and is only doing everything below 100 hertz. You set it at 80, the subwoofer is doing everything below 80. But these outputs are always hardwired as a throughput, which means they are always sending out a full range signal, no matter what you set the internal crossover to. And that's just the way they built them. And I know people are used to crossovers where, like the Yamaha, you set it to 100 hertz, it's gonna send everything above 100 hertz to the top cabinet. Electrovoice chose not to do this. And I also got a lot of comments when I made the TurboSound subwoofer review and said the same thing. TurboSound does the same thing. I'm not saying the Electrovoice subwoofer does not have a crossover, it does but it doesn't affect the outputs on the sub. And I know what you're thinking. Well, just buy the EKX tops, set your tops to an EKX 15 SP sub, the tops will be crossed over. Yes, exactly. The top cabinets require their own crossover. With the Yamaha, it doesn't matter. You can use that Yamaha subwoofer with any top cabinet. Doesn't have to have a subwoofer, you just flip the switch, it'll send a crossed over signal to the top cabinet. The Electro Voice does not work that way. It requires staying in the Electro Voice ecosystem. Which, if you're buying EKX tops, that's fine. I actually, right over here, own some ELX 200 tops, and that's what I use them with. And they work fine together because I can set the crossover on the tops, the crossover on the subs. But I usually have some Evolve 30Ms right here but I don't today. They're actually in my vehicle because I'm using them at a corporate gig later today. But this sub, the Electrovoice sub, is not a good option to match with the Evolve 30M or the Evolve 50 because there is no crossover in the Evolve 50, which means you can set the crossover on an ELX sub, an EKX sub, an ETX sub, you can set that at 80 hertz, which is probably what I'd recommend for a column array. But it's always going to send full range to the column array. It's not going to send that crossover signal where the column array is only handling 80 hertz and above. And that's just the way it works. And, you know, I was going back and forth 
arguing with somebody on Facebook, and I'm like, or not on Facebook, on YouTube in the comments section, and I'm just like, ah, I don't know if I'm explaining this right or not, but I just keep saying the same thing. So when you're using a subwoofer with a Evolve 50, an Evolve 30M, an RCF Evox, essentially any columnary out there, and you want to add a subwoofer to it, you'd want to use something like the Yamaha DXS18 XLF, flip this over to DSP out, set the crossover to 80 hertz, and then the, the subwoofer will do everything 80 hertz and below and augment your bass, and then it will send everything 80 hertz and above to your evolves or your evoxes or whatever column array you choose to use. The EKX, ETX, and ELX200 simply does not work that way. No matter what you set the crossover to, it will always send a full range signal out of these XLRs. So the only way to get around that is to use an external crossover, which I personally think is kind of a pain in the butt. But that's why, you know, if it, and I'm not saying you can't do it. You obviously can do it. It's just not going to be a properly crossed over system. To your ears, it might sound okay. To the room, you're going to get comb filtering because you're going to get overlapping bass frequencies, different subwoofers, different response times. It's just, you know, a 15 inch or an 18 inch is going to have a smaller response time than a 10 or a 12 inch. You just, you wind up with audio inconsistencies. And that's why you cross over a system to begin with. Otherwise, you would never use a crossover. But I hope I explained this right today. And uh, if you have any questions, throw it down in the comments section. If you don't believe me, read your manual. Call Electro Voice. They will say the same thing. Those are hardwired as a pass-through. Till next time, have a good day.